Good morning, folks. We've got CME impact in the second half of the space weather on deck ready for a consecutive impact. Scientists are blazing on this galactic dust topic, and Yale does it again. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're looking at the last 24 hours on our star, who was exceedingly calm as the bright active region turns away, with a coronal hole crossing through center longitudes. The departing sunspots lost their magnetic complexity at the rear as they're heading for the limb. As we come to the solar wind, we see the CME impact that we've been expecting, right in the middle of when we and NOAA forecasted impact and when NASA did. It was indeed a modest impact, but easily discernible on the right side as the simultaneous bump up in telemetry. Geomagnetism has begun to creep up off the floor as well. However, it is the coronal hole stream behind it ready for the consecutive impact scenario that could raise the numbers. We expect its impact today or tomorrow, and we should see geomagnetic storms at low level. The watch begins when that stream arrives. But we also have the IMF of the coronal hole, coupling with Mercury about to conjoin the sun tonight for the lithospheric watch as well. Let's come to the polar vortex. Its split has been in the news both here and in mainstream. The split sees a backwards rotation over the pole while proper lows spin over the western U.S. and Europe. This is the cause for major temperature swings forecasted in Europe and the western U.S. as the upper level systems drive changes at the surface. Up next, we're zooming in on M77, a monster in the middle of nowhere. Once at the proper zoom, we find an amazing mixture of blue and red areas composing the galaxy. And when Hubble uses its various color light filters, it reveals young stars as bright blue and hot dust as red. You can see the colder dust filaments as the browner regions in there as well. Sticking with something similar, we've got NGC 3344 and Alma has the center of the galaxy in the crosshairs, revealing an incredible dust ring that is rotating around the galactic center. They say the shape and motion does not follow the gravitationally expected pathways from the galactic center, instead favoring more chaotic and seemingly random motion, something Alphen predicted would seem random with oversimplified plasma physics. Up next, we're at the combination of professors from Yale and Oxford studying real Arctic ice changes compared to the models. It turns out that no models were able to match observations, the combination ensemble couldn't match the observations or the trend, and indeed more than 75% of the models overestimated ice loss. Bold is reality, and while a couple models did predict better winter recoveries, the vast majority did not foresee as much ice as was actually observed. Lastly, folks, we would love to get some translations and perhaps even an English transcript for the magnetic reversal videos. That would be amazing and much appreciated across the sphere. Links to those videos are below. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. Observing the Frontier starts tomorrow night. Very excited to see everyone. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.